Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Mohammed Saurabh and you are watching a Wolf Sage Virtual Learning. It's our second session. Today we will do some ratio analysis, uh, but before that uh, I would like to introduce you to one of the top and successful uh, investor in the world and one of the top financial analysts. His name is Warren Buffet. Forbes magazine listed Warren Buffet name as the richest person in the world and uh, according to the estimation his wealth his wealth was 62 billion dollars so the question is how Warren Buffet how earned this amount and its answer is very simple he earned this amount through investing his, through investing in different companies so what was his strategy before investing in any company uh, according to Warren Buffet, in 1950, he learned the technique of investing in company. But before investing, he said that anal analysis are extremely important. So let's know what was the strategy, what was the technique of uh, Warren, Warren Buffet, Warren Buffet before investing in any company. According to Warren Buffet, he invests in those companies that have good long-term potential, and they are currently underpriced so this was one of his technique of investing in different companies he said that i invest in those companies which are underpriced but they have long-term potential so how he calculated this data how he got to know that which company has long-term potential and which company has underpriced in a uh, current scenario so he used a financial analysis before making any investment he used, fi he used financial analysis and on the basis of those analysis he, he taken his all decisions of investment so he earned 62 billion dollars uh, through investing in different companies but before that he said that analysis are critically important uh, because they decide analysis decide whether uh, you should invest in any company or not. So it was all about Warren Buffet. So uh, have you got the importance of financial analysis? So guys financial analysis mean as I said you earlier in previous session that financial analysis introduce us to different methods of analysis where we use the financial information or financial statement of a company and on the basis of that statement we get to know about the strength and weaknesses of that company we use financial statement of a company and we analyze how that company has performed in the past and how this company will perform in the future okay guys financial analysis are being performed on financial statement okay and financial statement consists on three statements one is balance sheet then second is income statement and then third is cash flow statement okay Financial statement of a corporation are are the are the balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow statement. So user need to understand these statement uh, very deeply. Okay, the data on which we perform different analysis, we extract that data from these three statements. So we must know that which data is which data is being provided by which statement. Uh, when we talk about balance sheet, balance sheet show the financial condition or financial position of an entity and balance sheet, sh sheet consists on three major sections. The resource of firm which called assets and then the debt of firms which called liabilities and then the investment of the owner which called as equity or capital. Okay, I am repeating it again. Balance sheet consists on three major sections. One is uh, the resources of the firm, which called as asset. Okay, then the debt of the firm, which called as liabilities, and the amount which is being invested by the owner is called equity or capital. Okay, so all data related to assets, liabilities, and equity is available in balance sheet. Okay. Okay, guys. Then second major statement is income statement. Uh, okay, state income statement uh, showed the 
performance of the business during a specific period it uh, summarize the result of our operation for a particular time uh, period okay so income statement provides the information related to uh, the company performance how that company has performed uh, in uh, previous year and uh, it consists on uh, sales expenses and profit like uh, it show how much profit we have earned uh, during the period and how much expenses we did during the period so all uh, data related to sales expenses and profit is available in income statement okay then the last statement is a statement of cash flow the statement of cash flow detail the inflow and outflow of cash during a specific period so it consists on three uh, sections one is uh, cash flow from uh, operating activities then second is cash flow from investing activities and again then last is cash flow through financing activities okay. when it comes to financial statement analysis there are several methods of analysis the most common methods are ratio analysis common size analysis and dew point framework analysis each of these uh, analysis are so necessary because they provide the detailed uh, information about the company they show us the health of the company uh, through uh, in term of financial uh, position in today's session we will uh, discuss about ratio analysis and we will study ratio analysis in more detail and we will perform different ratio analysis so what actually uh, why actually we do ratio analysis because ratio analysis tell us, us about the uh, capacity of the firm the borrowing capacity of the firm the profitability of the firm and the and the efficiency of the firm further ratio analysis also uh, tell us how the firm is operating so ratios are so necessary and we today we will do different ratio analysis okay guys when it come to ratio analysis ratio analysis are so necessary because ratio analysis evaluate the financial health of companies by scrutinizing past and current financial statement okay so what actually we do in financial uh, ratio analysis in ratio analysis we extract data from these three statements which we have studied uh, here uh, these statements consist on financial uh, in balance sheet income statement and cash flow statements we extract data from these statements and then we perform different analysis and we uh, extract the relevant data from these statements and on the basis of their data we evaluate that data and ratio analysis are divided into four groups so one is liquidity ratio then second is solvency ratio and then third is profitability ratio and then fourth is efficiency ratio so guys what is our objective of doing these analysis because uh, users of financial statement use this ratio to know about the health of the company okay so the user of the financial statement use this ratio to know about the health of a company so guys uh, today we'll do uh, different ratios and the first ratio is liquidity ratio what is the liquidity ratio is liquidity ratio measure the ability of the firm to repay its short term obligations okay it measure whether company will be able to repay its short term or current obligations or not through its current assets okay because liquidity ratio measure the ability of the borrower to pay obligations when they come due when they come due so liquidity ratio measure the ability of the borrower to pay its obligations when they come due so if the liquidity uh, of a firm is strong strong then definitely i will uh, provide more credit to that firm so these ratios are necessary for those uh, who provide short term obligations who provide short term credit to a uh, firm when we talk about solvency ratios solvency ratio measure the ability of the firm to repay its long term liabilities okay so the difference between liquidity and solvency ratio is that so a uh, liquidity ratio measures the short term ability of the firm to repay its obligations and solvency ratio measures the long term ability of the firm to repay its obligations so if i am a long term creditors then definitely i will interested in solvency ratios okay 
because it measures the profitability and solvency of the firm, ability of the firm to survive over a longer period of time, and whether that company will be able to repay its long-term creditors or not. This is being indicated by the solvency ratio. Chooser of financial statement use these ratios like uh, a short term creditor like supplier or banker will use solvency ratio because they want to know whether the firm is able to repair uh, liabilities or not in the in a shorter period. Okay, if the user is long term creditor, then definitely he will interested to know about the solvency position of the firm. And if the user is shareholder, then he will interested to know about the profitability ratio because profitability ratio measure how the company has converted converted its revenue into profit, how company has controlled its uh, its expenses and it has converted its revenue into profit. So uh, shareholders looks at the profitability and solvency of the uh, company because they want to assess the likelihood of dividend and the growth potential of the stock so uh, profitability ratio is necessary for shareholders okay then the last is efficiency ratio so the efficiency ratio measure how company has used its assets and how efficiently company has used its asset and how the firm has converted the use of its asset into revenue or profit so so the efficiency ratios are so necessary because it's measure the usage of asset how efficiently firm is using its asset so today we will do liquidity ratios and as i said you earlier that liquidity ratio measures the ability of the firm to pay its current obligations what does this mean this means that it measures the ability of the firm to pay off its short-term liabilities oh, let me repeat it again the liquidity ratio measure the ability of the firm to pay its short-term obligations okay and to meet the unexpected need of cash the short-term creditors such as banks and supplier are too not too much interested to know about the liquidity ratios because they provide short-term obligation to the firm and they are interested to know the short-term ability of the firm to repay its obligation so how actually we calculate liquidity ratio the liquidity ratios are a result of dividing liquid assets by the short-term borrowing or current liabilities okay so liquidity ratio contains on three types of ratios okay liquidity ratios contain on three types of ratios one is current ratio then second is quick ratio and then third is cash ratios first we will measure current ratios current, what is the current ratio is current ratio measure the ability of the firm to repay its uh, short-term liabilities as we studied here so the current ratio will measure whether the firm is able to pay its short-term liabilities or not so how actually we calculate uh, current ratios and which data is required for current ratios as its name suggests that a portion related to current data is available in balance sheets where we divide our assets into current or non-current assets and then we also divide our liabilities into current liabilities and non grant liability so its name suggests that we have to bring data that is uh, led to current uh, current data so the current data is available in the form of current assets and then the in the form of current liabilities so how we calculate current ratios current ratios equal to total current assets divided by total uh, current life so how we calculate current ratio by dividing our own current assets with the current liabilities so the question is what the results of current ratio indicates so the result indicate that for every dollar of liabilities how much current assets that you have to pay for that liabilities so your current ratio is more than one that indicate that the firm has more assets than its liabilities and the firm is able to pay its 
short term liabilities i am repeating it again if your cr current ratio is more than 1 that indicate that firm has the ability to pay its short term liabilities uh, its uh, its assets are more than its current liabilities its current assets are more than its current liabilities so guys let's calculate current ratio as we know that current ratio is calculated by dividing all current assets by uh, total current liabilities so we have these current uh, current assets okay here uh, i listed the current assets and here are some current liabilities so how we can calculate it we will uh, add all our current assets equal to 5000 plus uh, 6000 plus 4000 plus 7000 plus 2000 so the current assets are 20 20 24000 dollars now i will uh, add all the current liabilities here okay so current liabilities equal to 7000 for account payable and then and then uh, 9000 for short term loan okay so the current liabilities are for 16000 so let's divide uh, this figure and know the results okay so here uh, i will divide this figure equal to 24000 divided by 16000 so here is the result and it is 1.5 okay the result is 1.5 so what actually this result suggests and what actually this result indicate indicate so let's know what actually this result indicate so uh, the current ratio is 1.5 that mean our short term obligations are fully covered because the ratio is more than 1 and the firm is able to pay its short term liabilities okay so the current ratio greater than one indicate that company is in good financial health and it is less likely uh, fall into financial difficulties and further 1.5 mean 1.5 mean that for every dollar of current liabilities for every dollar of current liabilities this company has 1.5 dollars of current assets i'm repeating it again what actually 1.5 indicate that for every dollar of current liabilities for every dollar of current liabilities this firm has 1.5 dollars of current assets it's uh, obvious that this firm is able to pay its current liabilities through its current assets because because its current assets are more than its current liabilities this firm has adequate current assets relative to its current liabilities so this was the interpretation of this result and so the second ratio is quick ratio guys so what why actually we calculate quick ratio why uh, current ratio is not enough for our liquidity ratios and liquid for calculation of liquidity ratios because current ratio consists on many current assets and so here are many assets which take time in converting into the cash so liquidity mean those assets which uh, quickly respond again against the current liabilities so here are some assets which uh, doesn't respond quickly to our uh, current liabilities like we have inventory which is one of the slow uh, so uh, inventory is slow moving inventory because it take time in, uh, in converting into the cash so we want those assets which quickly convert into the cash and so we pay our current liabilities so here are uh, some assets which take time in converting into the cash so we will exclude those assets which take time in converting into liquid form so we will add just those assets which quickly convert or which quick, uh, now we will calculate quick ratio and quick ratio includes on those assets which quickly or immediately convert into cash and they quickly uh, liquidate or and doesn't take time in liquidation or which assets actually we exclude uh, from this list we will exclude inventory and prepaid expenses why we actually exclude inventory because inventory takes time uh, in converting into cash uh, so because inventory is slow moving uh, 
acid so inventory is slow moving acid so we will exclude it from here because we because inventory is in different form uh, like it could be in the form of uh, raw material it could be in the form of work in progress so it could be in the form of finished goods so we do not know that when our raw material in, will convert into finished good and when our finished good will be sold to our customers so that's why we exclude inventory because inventory take too much time in converting into liquid form so uh, because quick SO includes uh, those assets which quickly and immediately immediately convert into cash so we actually want to know how quickly we can respond against our current liabilities so let's calculate quick ratio so we will exclude inventory from our from uh, quick ratios from quick, quick uh, assets and then we will exclude prepaid expenses from our quick assets okay so here uh, we will add our all uh, quick assets which were cash for 5000 and then account receivable for 6000 then uh, cash for current is for 7000 so the total quick assets are for 18,000 so, so let's calculate our total liabilities here are for account payable is for 7,000 then short term loan is for 9,000 so, so the total liabilities are for 16,000 so let's calculate its ratio 18,000 divided by 16,000 so the quick ratio is 1.125 so what actually this figure indicate it indicate that so here the value is greater than one that in that indicate that the short term obligations are fully covered because quick ratio is greater than one indicate that firm has good financial condition and it is less likely that firm will face financial difficulties and this firm is able to pay its short term liabilities through its quick ratio so furthermore we can say that for every dollar of current liabilities this firm has 1.125 dollar of current assets so this firm can pay its current liabilities okay so let's calculate uh, now we will calculate cash ratio okay so here actually we want to know that how much cash do we have in our company to pay our total current liability so the current assets will include cash and cash equivalent so the cash equivalent includes money market accounts treasury bills and we can easily convert them into cash we can convert these assets uh, into cash more quickly so we will consider these assets as cash so our total assets are for 12,000 and our total liabilities are for 7,000 plus 9,000 and total liabilities are for 16,000 so let's see cash ratio so 12,000 divided by 16,000 so the ratio is for so the crash ratio is 0.75 what does this mean this means that against one dollar of liability a firm has less cash than its liabilities so this firm is unable to pay its total current liabilities through its through the source of cash so the firm has less cash than its total current liabilities and firm is unable to pay its all liabilities through uh, the source of cash so we can say that for every dollar of current liabilities firm has 0 0.7 uh, dollar cash current assets firm has 0 0.7 current assets so that means uh, so cash is less than liabilities so firm is unable to pay its current liabilities through uh, the source of cash through the asset of cash Hopefully this was a nice session for you all and we will meet in next session. Next session we will do solvency ratios.